Welcome to Connolly Outdoors. We are back country in Algonquin Park at Acre Campground. What a hike to get in here. Holy moly. My son, who is in incredible physical condition, even he was tired. So just imagine how I feel. <laughs> Anyways, I'm starting right away, step two, because I'm so thirsty after that trek in here. Oh man, that was good. It's really beautiful here. I got to get the mosquito thermosel out and we got to set up our tent. So that's our first thing. We're going to get set up. There's one tip that I can give campers, always bring one of these fold-up chairs. We're lucky we do have these logs here, but if you don't have a log and you can't sit down anywhere, it's a nightmare. <laughs> so very important that you bring uh, those chairs. Oh, priceless these chairs. The other thing that's priceless, got to bring with you, thermosel. I also sprayed my son and I because we were getting attacked as we were hiking in here, but bring this as well. Very, very valuable piece of equipment. And of course, bug spray, sunscreen, all that stuff. I'm on a weird angle here, but oh man, feels nice to be able to sit down my neck is sore from the backpack because it was so heavy. <laughs> Backcountry camping. It's an adventure, that's for sure.
All right, so I'm just taking a little break. I set up the tent. I'm gonna set up the tarp very shortly. Taking a break that, like I said before, that hike really wore me out. <laughs> and uh, move my chair over to a much flatter spot. This is way more comfortable, basically on the other side of the campsite. And my son has gone out swimming across the entire lake to an island. He's just getting there now as I speak. But he's an awesome swimmer. He's a high performance swimmer and uh, he's training to get into the Canadian Olympic trials, which will be in May. So he's training starting September 5th. He starts training for his swim season. And so he's a very, very strong swimmer. So I don't have any fear of him swimming across to the island. I think he's there. He made it to the island in record time. And there he is, he's out and on the island, he's doing a cheer. So there he is on the island over there. It's pretty far a swim as you can see. Here's the reel. That's how far he just swam. But like I said, I don't have any fear because he is a very, very strong swimmer. And uh, he's been swimming competitively since he was about six years old. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the uh, campsite area. If you look behind me here, that's the amazing view and my son is over at that island, like I was saying, but um, I'll give you a quick tour of what this campsite looks like. It's pretty amazing. Beautiful campsite. Tent set up. Just gotta tarp it up because we are expecting some rain. Plus I like to put a tarp up anyways, just in case, because you just never know. It's good to have a tarp. I love doing the tarping anyways. Well, I'm having lasagna. Gotta take that out. My son is having his favorite, chili mac. So we are starving and we are gonna eat now. It's important to fill this to the right level. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. There we go. Make sure I put the right amount of water in here. Right. Stir this up for him. 
One thing about these very dehydrated meals or MRE meals, you gotta really stir them because the dehydrated, some of the meal will just sit in these little pockets down on the bottom. And then you go to eat it and you're like, why is this thing so crunchy? So what I do, learned the hard way is I stir it up really good. I seal it, let it do its thing, okay? But then I stir it again about eight, 10 minutes in. And then it's usually pretty good. So I'm gonna let this sit here and do its thing. All right, we're gonna try this meal. It's been longer than what's recommended. Still nice and hot. Been busy doing a fire, getting stuff organized, and hopefully this is cooked. Let's see. Is yours cooked? Mine, I don't think is. I think I gotta go a little longer. Yeah. A few more minutes. Got a nice fire going. Gonna eat now, relax. Take in the beauty here. It's incredible in this forest. Just amazing. Yours is all cooked, eh? Mine's not. <clears throat> yeah, I'll stir it a little more. but it needs to go a little longer. Ah. The beer of choice on this trip is Stella Artois. <laughs> Classy beer, but I like it. All right, so we got it cooked up. And now I'm eating it. I'm having the, the lasagna and uh, I'm really hungry, so this is great. Really good. Man, it got unbelievably dark, unbelievably fast. <laughs> ah, I got the tarp set up in the dark. Not the greatest, but it's hard to do it in the dark. It'll do. So, tent's all set up. Now we're going to set our sleep system up. That's the next step. Whew. But, got to check this moon out over here. <clears throat> Fire went out. I got to fix that too. Look at that moon, incredible. Man, it's a beautiful night. Just beautiful. Wow, it's quiet. Wow. Do it now. All right, so here we are getting ready for bed. I did not film putting together my sleep system, but I got a sleeping bag, my uh, air mattress here underneath that. I got my little uh, two piece accessory here to keep the moisture away and I got my trusty pillow here I was just so t tired earlier and busy that uh, I didn't get a chance to film it but ah, we are going to bed I am so exhausted and we're going to get a good night's sleep so we will see you in the morning see ya
It is about 6.30 a.m. And uh, it's a beautiful morning. Just relaxing, it's very quiet. Strangely, there was a whole pile of people that came trodden through the campsite at 5.40 in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning, woke me up. Different groups of people hiking through, I guess. Just an odd time to be hiking or leaving camp or coming to camp. I, most of them, I think, were leaving, but just kind of odd, odd time to be hiking around. But uh, nonetheless, we're making the best of it, and it's a great morning. Gonna get some breakfast started very soon. Mr. Noodles is on the breakfast menu this morning. <laughs> That's what we're having. And the granola bar. Fiber one granola bar. That's breakfast. Plus, I already had a boost. So this is breakfast this morning. Nothing exciting, but uh, that's breakfast. My son's still sleeping. That's why I'm talking quiet. So I'm going to boil up some water now. Another thing that I was going to mention was how important it is to bring bear spray. When you're out back country, wild camping in Canada, we have bears, we got wolves, we got moose. You got to protect yourself. So I use Sabre Wild Bear Attack Deterrent. I always keep it with me wherever I go. So very important that you uh, add this to your arsenal because um, you just never know. We're out in the wild, anything can happen. You gotta protect yourself. So that's very important. This doesn't usually take too much water, so just get this started. up super fast. Well, I made a tragic mistake. I forgot to bring my coffee bags. They're like tea bags, but they're coffee bags. And um, I don't have any coffee. And one of the things that I really enjoy in the morning when I go camping is having a nice hot cup of coffee. So no coffee for me. I'll have to get some later when I hike out of here and actually go to a coffee shop. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to make my noodles and uh, carry on. Success. Man, that is hot though.
let that heat up for a little bit. I'm cutting this chicken, these noodles, chicken noodles from Mr. Noodles heat up. And we're gonna have some breakfast. Quiet here now, other than the squirrels. Beautiful and quiet here. Just the way I like it. <laughs> breakfast. Is it breakfast of champions? Probably not. for sure. Just gonna go for a little walk, check out some of the other campsites nearby. Cause let's see where these people that came through, came walking through this morning came from. Cause I know they were a campsite over, but I haven't seen any of the other campsites, even though it's back country, back here in Algonquin, still designated campsites, it's just designated back country. The hike is merciless. <laughs> Even my son found the hike in here hard, so. Anyways, here we are. This is the other campsite. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Coming up on the next campsite over. It's Johnson 1, that's what we're staying in. Then there's Johnson 2. And now we're at Johnson 3. Wow, this is another big, beautiful campsite. There's seven of them in here in total. Looks like somebody tried to build a raft. <laughs> yeah cool in here. There's hardly anybody here, obviously. Somebody left something. It looks like my son and I are the only campers in here. It looks like everybody hiked out this morning. Strange. We're not going to be sticking around too long because it's going to start raining and we don't want to hike too far in a crazy rainstorm, so we're going to be leaving too, but not for a little while. Coming back to my campsite, you can just see the tent through there, or the tent and the tarp. There it is right there. Back to the campsite. And like I said, amazing morning. <laughs> wow. Just fantastic.
Well, unfortunately, we've we have some bad news in the sense that um, originally my son and I planned to be out here in the back country for two days, two nights, and leave tomorrow morning. But there's going to be a huge and really bad rainstorm, thunderstorm rolling in. So we've decided to avoid tear down in the rain and thunder and also hiking in the rain and thunder. So we unfortunately are going to pack up right now and we are leaving, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. We're going to go visit my daughter and my three grandkids. Uh, my son-in-law is away. He's in the military and he's away doing something, some training session. But my daughter is there with the three grandkids and uh, Liam and I are going to go and visit them and stay there tonight and then head home tomorrow. So there's light at the end of the tunnel. It's a bummer that we have to leave this absolutely beautiful, majestic camp spot. We really like it here. But we just don't want to get stuck in the rain and thunder and lightning and whatnot, uh, tearing down and also three kilometer hike out. So. We're going to get started. So next step, tear down. By the way, just want to let you know, this Woods Logan minus 12 degrees Celsius mummy sleeping bag, this thing is warm as anything, man. Excellent. I'm going to test it out this winter when I go winter camping. Liam and I are going to go winter camping November and December. It's going to be brutally cold. <laughs> We're going up north and uh, it's going to be snowy and cold and we're going to test this sleeping bag out but man this thing is great so far so good with this bag <clears throat>
comes down <laughs> so we're just about finishing packing up tents down tarps down got to put a few more things away pack our bags and we got the long hike out of here we are gonna stop along the way to do a little hike on this very special trail that's nearby a couple of kilometers away that has amazing views so maybe I'll include that in this video too since the actual camping got cut short a little bit but Anyways, we're just going to keep grinding it here. We're a couple of grinders and uh, we'll be packed up and out of here soon. Well, we are all packed up. We're really sad to be leaving. The weather's really nice, but it's calling for rain. And, you know, as we all know, the weather can change in a heartbeat. It's calling for rain and thunder and lightning and the whole nine yards. But right now, it's stunningly beautiful. So we're really sad to pack up, but we're all packed up. In about five minutes, we're going to leave to do the hike out. Keep camping. See ya. All right, so my son and I have taken a side trip to Barron Canyon. It's just down from where we were camping. It's not far at all. This view is unbelievable. It's breathtaking. My God, what a view.